Okay. All right, today we're gonna do a wheel seal on a trailer axle. It's gonna be a little bit different than a truck axle because you're not gonna have the cone and the torque sequence for your axle nut's gonna be a little different. But a lot of this stuff is gonna be pretty much the same. So we'll start up, take your little spring clip out, get that guy out of there. And uh, these torque nuts are reusable, but you have to change out the spring clip every time you change it. So, oh no. Out in there, and we got lucky. Outer bearing came out nice and easy. Got to clean that guy up. I'm gonna put him in the back for now. Okay. Then same thing. Grab your studs. Give it a jiggle. Pull it out. It comes free. And then, can you hand me the, uh, oh, there, there it is. Any dandy pry bar, pull the seal, pop it in there. Or not. Boy, that guy's, and they're good, what the fuck? Now it's coming. Pull your seal. Pull this bearing. Pop this guy to the back. Grab some more towels. Wipe down your axle shaft. Get it nice and clean. Just remember, if you have any kind of Oil residue left up in the rear. This thing will fail inspection. So, I'm gonna wipe off as much as you can. I need to get some brake cleaner. Okay. So then, back to the same thing. You want to check the same areas you did before, where your outer race rides, where your inner bearing is going to ride, and then where your seal sits. So, as long as those are good, you're ready to go. And make sure your threads aren't damaged, and everything will go nice and fine. So now we're going to go clean this out, and then we'll come back. So we're back, we got our bearings packed, uh, hub is cleaned, so now we're just going to install everything, drop your rear bearing in, pull your seal, line it 
it up. Seal driver. Ooh, what's up with the seal driver? Oh, okay. Well, we have an issue here. Our seal driver is damaged, so I am going to go find another driver and replace this. Okay, so we're back. We got a nice new seal driver that's not damaged. None of the edges are fucked up on this one. So, we can keep going. So, again, it's really important that you use the right seal driver for the seals that you're using. And uh, drive it in until you hear the tone change. Remember, don't hit the face of your driver, only hit the shaft. And, uh, yeah, we'll get that guy in. Reach in. Boy, this guy's stuck. On there. We'll tilt the hub. Drop them out that way. This is a horrible video. <laughs> this guy doesn't want to come out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ready? Mm hmm. Alright. That motherfucker out. So grab them, line them up. Let me get this drum out of my way. Let me grab my studs. Push it in. And we're ready to start filling up our cavity. And one thing to notice is that on trailer axles, we use semi-fluid grease instead of oil because they have a less likelihood of leaking and they last a little bit longer. But the process is a little different. So with this, we're going to fill it up about halfway full of grease instead of just the normal bottom of your hub. And then we'll pop our front bearing in and then we'll, we'll pop our axle nut and torque it down. Okay. So we are, we have our semi-fluid, and uh, we're going to pop our little hookup in the hub, and just start pumping it full. And if you're lucky, some companies will send you little paper gaskets to uh, give you the proper fill level, and you just pump your hub full until you reach that level. But we don't have those, so we fill, rotate, and fill again. And uh, this stuff is a little bit better than the oil because it doesn't run as much. And it doesn't build up as much pressure when it gets hot. So there's less of a chance of it blowing through a seal. So we have our hub about halfway full. We can drop that. I'll get this out of the way and grab the last berry. Put that guy in. Okay. And, uh, yeah, this is gonna be messy, so be prepared. Axle nut, remove your spring clip, if it's what you're using. And you want to get this guy hand tight. Ooh, that was nice. Okay. And then sometimes. I'll use the socket and just speed it on if it helps. Okay. 
Now, once you get that guy, about as tight as you're going to get it by hand, you're going to pull out your torque wrench. And uh, these Stemco axle nuts have a couple different torque sequences depending on where you're putting them and what size axle you're using. So for this one, thank you, second. Okay, here we go. We've got our torque wrench. The torque sequence for this one is going to be 250, 150, and 50. And well, so you just watch and you'll see how it goes. So, pop it in, torque it down. Okay. Once you hit that first 250, you're gonna grab your hub, boy, and you're gonna rotate it. And that is gonna help break your bearings free and help you seat your seal properly. So you wanna rotate it over at least three times. Then we're gonna grab it, and we're gonna to torque again. Then crank it over another three times. Okay, then one more time. Then we're going to rotate it. Okay. And that first process seats your seal. Now we're going to break it free. Make sure it spins freely. And we're going to set our torque to 100 foot pounds. And then we're going to do the same thing. Torque it. Rotate. Okay, so that is going to seat your bearings. Now we're going to break it free. And we're going to set our next torque to 50 foot pounds. Give it one good spin, make sure everything's loose. <clears throat> and then hit 50. And you're all set. So now you're gonna clean your face up a little bit. And get some more rags. So, clean your face up a little bit. You can grab your spring clip. Come on. Stop fighting. Yeah. 
And like I said before, if everything's okay, you don't need any, any tools to pop it in. The little teeth will line up and you'll be ready to go. So now, grab my hub and our gasket. Slap it together. Bolts. They should have been right there. No? Okay. Well, then you're going to grab your gasket and your hook cap. I'm going to pop it on. You need to like, put a couple bolts to line it up. It'll help things go a little faster. And these bolts are relatively low torque, so you don't have to hit them real hard. You don't want to use any really strong impact. If you're using like a small 3 8 ratchet or a little 3 8 impact gun, you'll be okay. Just don't hammer on it too long. And then again, this is an aluminum hubcap, so you want to torque it down in a crisscross pattern. Make sure you get it nice and flat. And then as you go around, you'll need another little cap. After you get that, we're gonna pull our plug right here and we're gonna fill up the outer cap. And you're done. Holy fuck, maybe not. This motherfucker's on there. Alright. There we go. Yeah. Get that bitch loose. Oh, you're recording this. Oh, awesome, yeah. Well, this will be the fucking nasty shit we put at the end of the video for like bloopers or whatever the fuck it is. So, yeah, you get that motherfucker off. You're gonna grab your semi fluid again. And then, obviously, you drop your fucking hook in there and just start pumping away. You'll know when it gets full. And then, you also wanna consider when you're doing this if you're using the right type of cap. If you're gonna be doing a hub with semi-fluid, you want a cap that has vent holes like this. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's gonna have uh, little vent holes so it breathes a little better than like the little rubber caps. Because if you use a little rubber cap, this one isn't gonna be able to breathe right and you'll blow seals. But if you use this kind of cap on a hub with oil, that's going to let too much moisture in and your oil is going to get contaminated and you'll blow a bearing. But now we got shit coming out of there. We know it's good. And then we'll just wipe it up. And let's pop the cap back in. And wipe everything down, make it nice and clean. And finally, there is your wheel seal on a trailer axle. Enjoy.